is another Midnight with Pokemon video where we're going to be looking at Ken Sugimori art. So just look at that Mewtwo and that Pikachu right there. That's like some of my favorite artworks of Pokemon and it just takes you back to like the very beginning. Here's another thing with Charizard, Snorlax, all those Pokemon right now, those are like the designs from Sugimori. So I have a binder just filled with Sugimori stuff and I went through and I chose some of my favorites and we're going to go through those cards just so you can get a better understanding of what like Sugimori's artwork is like because right now I'm really enjoying going through my my collection and just trying to separate the artists the illustrators so I can just uh I don't know it just it just being able to understand more about Pokemon and what you like about it. So I thought it'd be really awesome to share this with you all. And uh, and yeah, if, if you see a Sugimori art, or if you don't see a Sugimori art in here that you really enjoy, let me down, let me know down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, I'll have to go find it. <laughs> okay, so let's look at these cards. All right, so this guy has been featured on uh, Midnight with Pokemon before because it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous, such a gorgeous work of art, Pokemon Breeder Fields, and I just thought, hey, let's start off with some, let's start out with a bang. And then this Misty card, absolutely gorgeous. I guess we're gonna be looking at some trainers first. And uh, Misty, OG Misty right there. This one right here, <laughs> this is like, my first, I, I count as like one of the first waifu cards. I mean, there's last. I guess that would be OG OG. And then this rocket sneak attack. I just love rocket sneak attack for some reason. Whenever I find one in good shape, I always like to pick it up. And yeah, it's by Ken Sugimori. Then we have this Feraligator from Neo Genesis. Lieutenant Surge's Fero. And if you don't know, for some reason, Fero cards have to be some of the most gorgeous cards. There's a Fero GB promo that I'm trying to get, and they just, they look better than Ho-Oh, in my opinion, in a lot of cards, except for the Sky Ridge Ho-Oh, which is like god tier, gorgeous card. But besides that, I feel like the artists just love drawing Fero and love making it look so majestic. Okay, so now we have Sabrina's Gengar which I don't know if you know or not, but the Japanese version is uh, banned. And you can almost see right here in the back where the tombstones were in the Japanese one. And they kind of just did it, you know, just kind of blurred it out. But those are like tombstones. Oh yeah, that's kind of like, you could really just about make out a cross. Wow. That one's basically not even unbanned, but it, it pops more in the Japanese version. So yeah, that's a very cool card to have. Sabrina's Gengar. And it's also just off to the right. As you see, I think there's a few that I picked. Yes. So this low king right here, it's also off to the right, like the Gengar, I guess, in this generation. This is another reason why I wanted to bring out just his artwork, because you could kind of see where what he was feeling during certain times in, uh, in illustrating Pokemon cards. So this time he felt like putting them off to the right like this Venusaur, the Slow King. I guess he wanted to like just put some more of the the artwork right there, just the the background, just have that incorporated into the feel of the card. And yep, and the Alakazam, I think this is the last one that I put in here. I'm sure there's probably some more where he has Pokemon off to the right, but all of these just, I enjoyed all of them so much and it was just so cool to see that they're all made by uh, Sugimori. And then we have the Blaine's Charizard, OG Charizard art. Definitely has to be a lot of people's favorite Charizard art. It's probably like my second or third. And if you didn't know, this is another card featured on my um, error card video. Because if you look, you'll see that in the text, it says discard all fighting energy cards attached to Blaine's Charizard. That should be fire. There is a corrected version of this card, which is actually rare than this energy so you're most likely going to see the the error card and the corrected one actually goes for a bit more so keep your eyes open for that corrected one blaine's arcanine i just always love this blaine's arcanine and so many people do never really thought about looking at the artists uh when i was a kid but now seeing that it was sugimori it all kind of just makes sense 
and uh, seeing that HP, just seeing like, yo, we got the guy that's gonna, you know, takes more, does more damage than uh, than Charizard. It's a base set card at 100. That was really cool to see. We got the Moltres used to be Flaming Chicken's uh, profile picture. Gorgeous card. The blue, the red, and the yellow. The contrast in all those colors just looks so amazing. Definitely one of the best cards ever made. And it's just so awesome seeing that. Oh, that's Sugimori. And speaking of best cards ever made, this is top five of mine. This Dragonite GB promo. I actually just got another one in the mail for free. It was a mistake on the sender. And then the other one has an awesome swirl right there. This one looks to have a little swirl right here. We also see kind of like that foreground or background uh, popping. Like the other ones, though, he's in the middle right here, not off to the side. This card is just oh, so gorgeous. Charizard. I think this is my favorite looking Charizard right here. This is um, this is like the Cardass Charizard, the Bandai Charizard, like the first artworks of Charizard. Um, this is what this brings off to. His face shape is just a lot different than what we see now. And this just screams vintage Pokemon to me. And again, now I'm looking more at the background. Looks like he's like at a beach or something, I'm thinking. So gorgeous. Oops, almost skipped. Chansey, one of Stephanie's favorite. <laughs> this card was featured in another video of ours. I won't mention that video, but yes. She sees something in Chansey, which I don't think anybody else really sees. But this is another gorgeous card. I feel like it got a lot of hate back in the day, but it was really good in the decks. Talk about just like slowing people down and then dealing a whole bunch of damage. Zapdos. I pulled a couple of these as a kid. I think, I mean, another thing that people talk about Sugimori is just all the sharp lines that he uses in his drawings. And uh, I don't know if any Pokemon has more sharp lines and corners than Zapdos. I guess it would be a Porygon Zapdos kind of pops into mind, but Zapdos, I, I believe, would take the win. Nidoking. We see more of those kind of spikes and lines right here. Nidoking, just super original Pokemon design. Looks gorgeous. Machamp. A lot of other people's favorites, just thinking about Seismic Shock TV and Shreddy Breck. Awesome card. Blastoise. I think this was my favorite of the base set when it came out. I never pulled the Blastoise from a base set pack. Pulled Venusaurs, pulled Charizards, but never pulled a Blastoise. And whenever I see one in someone's collection, I always get really excited. <laughs> I saw that feeling, and I love playing it in, uh, in the old theme decks. Blastoise was always fun to play. Then we have Alakazam. It's another gorgeous card. We see those sharp lines with like it's, I don't know, would you call it ears or horns? I feel like Kadabra looks more like ears. And Alakazam, I feel like they formed more into like horns. But I guess if we're going off of the magician that it was made after Kadabra, then it would be like his pointy ears. And then here's a more recent one of Sugimori, because Sugimori does still have um, some art, some recent art out. It isn't just all OG, though I collect a lot more of the old stuff. We have this one from what I believe 2016, 2018. Um, Ash, Red's Pikachu, or Ash's Pikachu art right here. And I definitely need to pull out some more. You know what? I think we're gonna look at just a few more cards of his that I have. I'll show you why I didn't wanna show you my binder or a binder, but here we go. Let's see, let's see what we can see. This is what I talked about earlier about like the old cards, like the Bandai cards. I love these holographic ones. And this is more of that Sugimori art. I just ordered quite a few more of these as well. Just absolutely love them. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and looking at all these awesome cards. If you did, go ahead, like the video, comment what was your favorite card, and you all have a great day. See you guys later, or great night. This is Midnight with Pokemon. All right, see you guys later. Bye.